In this video we will touch on a subject that many may find chilling, the complete nothing. Since our observable universe is so large, we should not expect there to be a space in which there is nothing, just a long and dark void. Well, stay with us to find out more about this scary black hell. This is interspace. The universe has a lot of space, and that space is filled with galaxies. But sometimes, there are regions of the universe where there are few galaxies. These areas are called voids. Voids are not empty, they contain about as much matter as the rest of the universe does. But they have fewer galaxies than other areas do, so they look empty when viewed from afar. The size of voids varies widely, some may be as large as galaxy clusters, others may be smaller than an average solar system, the sun is part of our galaxy. It's hard to tell exactly how many voids exist in our known universe because we know so little about dark matter and dark energy, we don't know what makes up most of the mass in space. There has been a lot of talk about dark matter and dark energy. Scientists have been trying to figure out what these things are and how they got there. With the help of telescopes, supercomputers, and other instruments, astronomers have been able to map out massive swaths of space in an attempt to find where this missing mass may be hiding. It turns out that there is one place in particular that could contain some answers, a vast empty region called the Boötes supervoid. This is maybe the reason why astronomers can't see as much of the universe as they thought. The void is 1.8 billion light years long, making it extremely rare and the largest thing in the universe that scientists know about. In fact, the void is so large that if you were to put our solar system at its center and all of our galaxies on the outside edge, there would still be 100 million light years left over inside of it. The existence of this supervoid has given us a better understanding of how matter behaves in space and how galaxies form as well as our own Milky Way galaxy's place in the universe. Robert Kirshner, a Harvard astrophysicist who has been studying dark energy for two decades, had been looking for a missing piece to explain why we couldn't see more of the universe. Kirshner is part of an international team that discovered the Boötes supervoid, also called the Boötes void. The supervoid was created by a massive galaxy cluster that passed through the void and left behind gravitational waves ripples. These ripples could be detected using an instrument called BICEP2, Background Imaging of Cosmic Extragalactic Polarization, which used microwave radiation from when the universe was born 13 billion years ago. Kirshner found out about the void while reading a scientific paper. The void was discovered by Istvan Shaputi and Shai Janel at the University of Hawaii. It's located in the Boötes constellation, which is 1.8 billion light years long. This void could be contributing to why we can't see more of the universe than we do now. To understand what I mean by that, you have to know a little bit about how light travels through space. The universe is filled with matter and radiation, and there are regions where it's dense enough for light to get trapped and bounce around forever, like around black holes, but these are actually pretty rare compared to the rest of space. Most places don't have enough mass close together to trap light indefinitely, so it will eventually escape into other areas when they expand or become less dense over time. When this happens, you'll notice some stars shining in your sky at night, they're just random examples of light coming from farther away than what's directly above us on Earth. But these galaxies aren't all equally bright, some galaxies produce far more energy than others and therefore appear brighter from our perspective here on Earth as well as from any other point within our galaxy. And even though most galaxies are much farther away from each other now than they were 10 billion years ago during their formation period, when protostars first began forming, these oldest ones still make up most of what we see today because nothing new has been created since then due either too few stars being formed or too many dying off over time, or both. Astronomers have been mapping out vast swaths of the universe with telescopes and supercomputers to try and figure out what they are missing. They have found that 68% to 74% of the matter in the cosmos is missing or invisible. This missing matter has been dubbed, dark matter, but no one can say exactly what it is. Some scientists think dark matter is composed of exotic particles that interact only weakly with ordinary matter, while others think it's made up of large clouds of gas or dust which are hard to see at great distances because they absorb light almost perfectly. Another possibility is that dark matter may consist largely of black holes or neutron stars, stars so dense that a teaspoonful would weigh billions of tons. There are various theoretical models describing how galaxies form from large clouds of hydrogen gas, but these models totally ignore any evidence for dark stuff, hence we don't know if there's any left over after formation. 
The Hubble Space Telescope has taken images of tens of thousands of galaxies within a small patch of sky over 10 years to figure out the missing mass problem. The map shows that there is more dark matter, which can only be seen indirectly through its gravitational effect, than normal matter in some areas, while other regions are almost completely made up of dark matter. A team of astrophysicists from the University of Washington recently published a paper in the journal Nature that claims to have discovered the missing matter in our universe. The team argues that dark energy, a mysterious force that scientists have been struggling to understand for years, may be responsible for this missing matter. This discovery was made using data collected by the Hubble Space Telescope, an orbiting observatory launched into space by NASA in 1990. Using this data and computer models, they found evidence suggesting that between 68% and 74% of all matter in our universe is missing or invisible, they dubbed it dark energy. This discovery is significant because it offers a new explanation as to why we can't see more than 5% of what's out there, and suggests some exciting possibilities about how our universe came into existence. If you liked the video, give us a thumbs up and let us know what you thought about this terrifying region in our universe in the comment box. This was Interspace, see you in the next video.